Hey everyone, it's Thursday, which means we get another bonus weekly forefighting. I'm a cybernetic organism, living tissue over a metal endoskeleton. Come with me if you want to live. If you have a suggestion for me, or if you'd just like to have something clarified, please reach out to me in the comment section below. I'm happy to help. Also, be sure to check out the channel and subscribe. We're releasing brand new videos every day. Now let's get started on those week 9 challenges. The first challenge I want to talk about is the one with 5 stages that ultimately requires you to get an elimination with a weapon from each rarity type. Now what's so important to keep in mind about this challenge is that you cannot actually find common rarity or white weapons in Team Rumble. Because it's the first stage of this challenge, it's going to prevent you from progressing through the other 4 stages of the challenge, which actually can be completed pretty easily in just 4 matches of Rumble as long as you're making sure to get an elim with a weapon of the appropriate rarity for each stage. Just remember that it's crucial you pick a game mode that actually has common or white rarity weapons to complete the first stage of this challenge. Hopefully I explained that well enough, but if you're still confused, you can reach out to me in the comment section below. The other Elim challenge we're tackling this week is to get an elimination in 5 different named locations. In order to progress on this challenge, either you or your opponent needs to be within the named location when you get that elimination. In other words, eliminating an opponent outside of a named location will still count as long as you're inside the named location when you do it, and likewise if you are outside of a named location but eliminate an opponent that is within one, that elimination will count too. The next two challenges I'm covering require you to deal damage in specific ways. The first requires you to deal 500 damage to opponents through headshots. To progress on the second challenge, you'll need to be damaging opponents within 10 seconds after landing from a volcano vent, and you'll need to do a total of 200 damage in this way. Volcano vents are located all over the northeast jungle region of the map. One of our challenges requires us to use a Chug Splash or Chug Jug in three different matches. The challenge after that requires us to search seven chests at either Lazy Lagoon or Happy Hamlet. For our final challenge, we'll need to visit three different solar arrays. The first can be found in the snow, the second can be found in the desert, and the third can be found in the jungle. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, consider dropping it a like. And again, be sure to subscribe. We have brand new videos every day. To everyone watching, I sincerely appreciate your support. I'm always trying to make these videos to the best of my abilities, and to see that people are actually finding use from them, and generally people like them, it, it means a ton to me. It makes me excited and also nervous. So I just want to say thank you guys for putting your chip on me. All right, enough philosophy. I better get going. That's it for the weekly challenges, but now we're going to get our hidden battle star, which you can find in loading screen 9. It's important to know that in order to unlock loading screen 9, you've had to complete all of the weekly challenges up to this point, not just the ones for week 9. Unlike the 4 fights that can be hidden in loading screens, which do not require you to actually have that loading screen in order to access in-game, you do need the loading screen number 9 in order to access this battle star. That's it for this video, you all have a great day, if you're here today, have a great Thursday, and as always, thanks for watching. And a happy 4th to everyone watching from the US.